Welcome to my latest module overview video for the Erica Synths Fusion line. This is the first video to go with the 5 Fusion series modules and here I have the Tube VCO mixer. It's a 2 times 3 channel mixer and it has buffered outputs and inverted outputs. I've got earlier prototypes that have some slight differences to the final design so watch out for the final modules coming soon. The module's got a gorgeous tube drive and saturation that I'm going to use to mix static analog waveforms, moving waveforms, wavetables, drums as an output mixer and finally as a stereo mixer towards the end. So I'll start simple here, mixing analog waveforms from one oscillator which will be the AFG from Livewire. To show how the mixer responds I'll start with one wave at a time, so I'll start with the sine wave on the first input. You can hear it adds a lovely fuzzy top to that sine wave when the level's up full. Here's a triangle wave. And finally a saw wave. So I'll then take these as separate inputs and mix them together. So I'll start with a triangle. Then add a square subwave. And when it gets to full volume on the mixer you can sort of choke out the other channels as it clips and takes over the signal. So just mixing two waveforms means we can use it as sort of a tube wave shaper. I'll now add a saw wave on the third input. To get things moving I'll add a sample and hold which is going to a quantizer to the pitch input of the oscillator and then I'll play around with a mixer changing those waveforms. So here we'll look at some moving waveforms. I'll stick with the AFG as the oscillator and I'm going to use the harmonic animation section and take out the alien saws into the VCO mixer. As we increase the gain like before you can hear it adds a really nice extra fizzy top to the waveform. I'll now add some LFOs moving those alien waveforms harmonic content. The VCO mixer does a great job of turning that into a big fat fuzzy waveform. I'll then turn this down and take the pulse output and use some pulse width modulation. The pulses are already brighter coming out of the AFG so mixing in those sort of thicker warmer alien saws and mixing the two we can get a really nice thick sound. Here slowing down the LFOs moving those waveforms. Moving away from analog oscillators and using digital oscillators now, I'll have a look at moving wavetables which are going to come from the E350's Morphin Terrarium. I'm going to mix the two outputs, which is the XY output and the Z output, and then after this I'm going to add some effects to create a drone style patch at the end of this section. So here's the oscillator's output. At lower volumes it's a fair representation of what's coming in, and at higher levels it adds this lovely fuzzy glue across the two signals. and there's really a lot of life and character in the unit. So here's some delay and then spring reverb which is after the VCO mixer just to create a bit more of a sort of spaced out drone style pad. can drive these signals pre-effects to shape how they respond as well.
Here we'll look at the VCO mixer as an output mixer, which isn't the intention, but it's a nice added glue at the final stage of a patch with several parts going into the mixer. The first thing I have is a simple kick drum patch. Then a fast arpeggio. And then a simple bass line that already has some effects on there. So I'll start mixing these. And as before, as the level gets higher, you can hear added saturation on each stage. Now I'll use the VCO mixer as a drum mixer. I've got the COG Volca Beats going into the top channel with a nice clean output. And as with the oscillators, we can saturate and drive this nicely. Turning up the bass drums decay on the Volca, you can hear the drive in the low end. I've then got a hi-hat pattern which is clock noise coming from a braids and taking some modulation from various things on this noise. And I've also got a little FM percussive part on the third channel. So I'll mix these and squash them into each other and show how the mixer responds. So the final thing I'll look at is using the VCO mixer as a stereo mixer. As it's got two free channel mixers, we can mult signals across the both sides and use various waveforms on both sides and then take the A and B outputs as a stereo pair. One thing to note here is I do have a few dodgy cables that I knocked, so bear with it if there's any clicking and sound you'll see that. So I'll start using the E350's two waveform outputs and mix that across both sides. and we can still drive this on both sides. The next wave formed are a sine wave and a triangle wave coming out of an AFG and this is tuned up to an interval above the E350. And then the third channel is a higher pitch, super saw plucked type sound. And if, you watch, and if you watch this in HD on YouTube, you should get some stereo sound. And this could just be the start of a stereo patch. You could extend this by taking the A and B outputs into different filters and through different effects and then taking those as two separate feeds for the left and right to create your own stereo patches. As always, I hope you've liked this video. This was the first in a series of overviews for the five modules in the Erica Fusion line, which are all tube modules. Coming next will be the analog delay and chorus module, and then following that, there's a ring modulator, a VCA, and a filter as well. Head to ericasynths.lv for more information, and hit subscribe on my channel for more videos coming soon. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments below. Cheers.